Hi, my name is Yuri and I'm a quality engineering manager here at PAI. Today we're going to be talking about how to measure engine piston ring end gap in both an engine liner and a ring gauge. The first thing we want to do is consult our OEM manual because every OEM has a slightly different procedure for how to do this. We flip open to the page that describes the procedure and in this case we see that we need to measure this ring in a gauge of exactly 5.400 inches in diameter. What we have here is a ring gauge of that exact diameter. We take our piston ring and we install it in the gauge. We make sure that everything is level and then we can take a measurement using a feeler gauge. In this particular gauge, when we measure the end gap, we realize that it is 0 0.019 inches, which is exactly in spec according to what the OEM procedure says. Not everybody has a precision ring gauge. The OEM manual says that you can take this measurement in a liner, but here we have to watch out for something. According to the OEM manual, the liner can be anywhere be between 5.400 and 5.402 inches in diameter. Now, one or two thousandths of an inch may not seem like a lot, but this end gap only has a total tolerance of plus or minus six thousandths of an inch. And we'll see in a moment how just a one thousandths difference in this diameter can cause a three thousandths difference in our measurement. So we could take this ring out, install it in our OEM liner, make sure it's level using an engine piston, and we can repeat our measurement. In this particular case, we could see that the ring gap has increased to 0 0.022 inches. Same piston ring, but two different measurements. So what's going on here? A one thousandths difference on the diameter of the liner from what the gauge diameter ought to be will lead to a three thousandths difference on the ring gap. What's happening is due to the geometry, there's a three to one ratio that relates the change in the gap with the change in diameter of the gauge. In this particular case, a one thousandths increase in the diameter has led to a three thousandths increase in the gap. In order to account for this, what we can do is use a ratio of three to one to help correct our measurement. We can use a precision bore micrometer to take a measurement of what our liner is and use that dimension relative to our gauge to correct our gap. In this particular case, the liner is 5.401 inches in diameter, which is one thousandths larger than what our ring gauge is. Therefore, we can expect the gap to be three thousandths larger than what it would be in the gauge. We can repeat the same measurement using PAI components. We could take PAI piston ring and measure it in our ring gauge that is precisely 5.400 inches in diameter. Make sure everything is level. And again, we can use a feeler gauge to measure the gap. This particular case, we can see that the gap is 0 0.020 inches in diameter. Now what we've done is we've measured the diameter of the liner and found that it is two thousandths larger than the ring gauge. It is still in tolerance according to the OEM manual, but when we remeasure the exact same ring in this liner, we see that this gap in the gauge is 0 0.02 inches. But when we install the piston ring in the PAI liner, we find that the ring gap has actually grown to 0 0.026 inches. Again, we see a three to one ratio. Our diameter here is two thousandths larger than our ring gauge, and we verified that with a bore micrometer. Therefore, we expect the ring gap to be three times that, or six thousandths larger than it would be in the exact ring gauge. 